Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host Aussie Jim 7 and today we're looking at the Bank Plus plugin. This is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have a banking GUI, have interest and other customization and it's super easy to use with not too many commands. So first of all, if we do forward slash bank, that's going to open up our banking GUI and in the middle you can say this is a bank, you can deposit all your money here and keep it safe, you can earn interest and then obviously you can use it how you wish. So if we look at here, it says account name, and that would say my name, and then it says balance $673, which is actually more than I started with because I'm actually getting interest. You can see it says wait three minutes to get interest, which you set in the config file. By default, it's 5% of your total balance every five minutes. Now, there's a few other things in here. You can deposit and withdraw money. So using another plugin like Essentials or another economy plugin, you can take money from there and move it about. If you want to withdraw something, click the button and then let's say you want to withdraw $50 and that will take away 50 money. You can also uh, withdraw all of it and then you don't need to type anything in chat. And then if I do forward slash balance, it shows I have $600 in my essential account. And then if I go back into the banking account and then deposit half of it, you can see if I do bal again, I'm now at 337 because half has gone into my GUI bank. There's a few other commands. So if you are uh, not wanting to use the GUI, you can obviously do the withdraw or deposit command. If you are an admin, you can add money to someone's account really easily and that will add 10,000, which is uh, very nice. Wouldn't complain about that. You can obviously do forward slash bank reload if you change anything in the config file. But that is how easy it is for players and admins to use this plugin. Um, it is very useful. You can just move money here and it allows it to accumulate interest and get bigger and bigger over time. So that is what it looks like in game. We're gonna head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are three YML files. Now the players.yml, this is very straightforward. This just saves how much money they have and if they've made any online interest. If we go back, we've got the messages.yml. Now this just has everything that will pop up in chat, so you don't really need to edit that at all. And here we are in the config.yml. Now there's a few useful things in here. The first section is the interest section. Now this is pretty cool. It allows players to actually earn money on money that is in their bank account. So if you enable this, and if we have a look here, money given, it's gonna be 5% of their total bank account that's given every five minutes. Obviously, you could change these numbers, make it slightly less overpowered or, or less common. Um, and then the max amount is 500,000. And then do you want players who are offline to get this bonus as well? Scroll down, we've got the general section. So the starting amount, when the player first joins, they get $500. And then it uses UUID instead of player names, but obviously you could disable that. And then we've got the max bank account capacity, which is a massive number there. And then do you want a max withdraw and deposit amount? Set it to zero to disable that. And then you can blacklist certain worlds like creative worlds, for example. Scroll down and then if you do have on offline interest, you can enable a message that tells people how much money they've made. We've got a few different sounds that you can disable or change if you want to. And then we've got various placeholders for the amount of money people have, um, trillion and quadrillion, that would be nice to have that amount. And then down at the bottom we've got the GUI section, so you can disable or enable that if you want. And then it's got all the different lines, how often it's updated, and then the filler section which is just stained glass. And then all the items, their name, the slot and the law it has, so you could change this if you really wanted to, but it looks really nice how it is, so I wouldn't recommend that. But that is everything in the YML files. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.17 and you require Vault and an economy plugin like Essentials and then you can also use placeholder API. It's got a ton of features. You can see this is obviously what the GUI looks like and there are permissions down here. And if you have any problems, you can contact the developer in their Discord. But if you need a server to host it on checkoutserverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.